Hello everyone, you're welcome to Jam Vibes. There is a new twist in the recent development of Senzo Mayua's case in court, as apparently the gun that was used allegedly to shoot Senzo Mayua was stolen during a CIT robbery as a new witness is complicating matters in court. I'm here to give you all every single detail of what is transpiring, but before I do so, do well to follow Jam Vibes, please. Like this video, drop a comment after watching the entire video, please. In a dramatic turn of events, the Senzo Meiwa murder trial reconvened today, unveiling a pivotal witness who could potentially alter the course of this high profile case. The court's room burst with anticipation as Mr. Pieter Jacobus Smuts, an employee of the SBV security company, took the stand to testify regarding a missing firearm that had been discovered in the possession of one of the accused, referred to as accused number three. Smuts, the SBV logistics legislative manager, began by emphasizing the importance of adhering to legal regulations. In his exact words, he said, and I quote, My role, he stated, is to ensure that our business operates in strict compliance with all relevant legislation. Should any of our firearms be lost or stolen, it is imperative that we report such incidents within the stipulated time frame. The pivotal moment arrived when the witness was presented with the very firearm in question. Without hesitation, Smooth confirmed its identity as a CZ75 9mm pistol, meticulously tying it to the SPV security company through exhibit documentation. He further bolstered this link by producing the firearms license, which the court scrutinized closely. A critical detail emerged during Smooth's testimony when he disclosed that the barrel number on the weapon matched the firearm's serial number, leaving no room for doubt regarding its original and ownership. It's very much sad seeing all of what is ongoing. It didn't even only end there, it has all proceeded because, under the scrutiny of both the prosecution and the defense, the witness was then questioned about the firearm's tumultuous history. Smooth revealed that the CZ-75 had been stolen during a cash in transit robbery that occurred in May 2013 in Rabi Ridge. The startling revelation continued as he confirmed that the theft had been duly reported to the police and that a weapon had been lost at a shopping center in Rabi Ridge. This revelation leaves a trial of unanswered questions in the Senzo Meiwa murder trial. How did this firearm, central to the case, end up in the possession of one of the accused? What role, if any, did it play in the events surrounding Meiwa's tragic death? As the trial progresses, it is becoming increasingly evident that the missing CZ-75 pistol may hold a key to unraveling the mysteries should, should in case all of this is still definitely dragging. The courtroom remains riveted as the trial unfolds with the hope that justice for Senzo Meiwa may finally be within the reach. It is so sad seeing all what is ongoing already, but at the end of the day, what can be done in order to reduce and to curb all of the situations already? Because we are talking about eight wholesome years already. Yo, eight years whereby the court has been struggling to seek the truth and to track down the culprit who actually pulled the trigger on Senzo Meiwa. And this particular rifle in question that is being alleged to have been stolen, literally, many are actually saying on the media that maybe this should be the rifle that actually pulled the trigger, that actually, you know, had the bullet that actually claimed the life of Senzo Meiwa. But then again, can we really come to a hasty conclusion without the court giving us the conclusion final? I love you all and I'm going to be replying to each and every of your comments in the comment section. You will tell me what you think about all what is being transpired already in the Senzo Meiwa court case.